Okay, so thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And I saw the movie yesterday and it looks like you had a lot of fun making it. What scene did you enjoy doing the most? Um, you, this may sound kind of funny, but the scene I actually enjoyed the most was the scene where we were on that ride. The, it, oh, um, yeah. the cranium shaker in the movie, it's actually called The Revelation, despite the fact that during that day, I was like, I'm not going on this thing. I'm, I refuse to. It pays off when you actually see it because it looks really funny. Like when I was seeing that, I was like, I really look like that during that. <laughs> like I, I thought that was a pretty cool scene. What did they do? Did they just attach the camera to the roller coaster and yeah, they, put you on they it? They put like so. this little brace thing in front of it. They attached the cameras like facing us like this. They had like three. They had one for his close-ups, one for both of us, one for my close-up, and then we went on the ride. It looks yeah. like you had a lot of fun. How about you? Uh, well, I mean, obviously I love that scene. I, I enjoy every scene because I had a special memory, you know, while filming. And, you know, if I had to pick one that in the, in the movie was great was uh, the country club scene. I mean, that was fun. I mean, I got to play tennis sometimes. I actually had to learn tennis for the scene because I hadn't played it before. And that's, that's really hard. It's harder than you think it is. But, uh... Anyways, you know, I got to ride a golf cart. That was cool. Not that I had it before. I, I remember my mom said that she could see the golf cart tipping while I was driving it. I was with the third AD and she was like, ah! But yeah, uh, just a warning, don't go in a car with me unless I'm like 20-something because I'm, I'm still a driver in progress. I'm working on it. But anyways, uh, yeah, I got to have smoothies too. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, fruit smoothies. I have the recipe, but... Anyways, that was really fun. <laughs> it looks fun. I remember the tennis bit, and I was thinking, ow, that looks really painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. How long did it take to complete the whole movie? Well, um, you know, every single movie. Days. Yeah, 45 days wow. of filming. But in all, it's like, we spend, on each movie, three months in Vancouver. That's where we film in Vancouver, Canada. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, adding on all the editing time and everything, but uh, it does take a while. I remember just watching the first movie, and I... It's just incredible to see that I filmed all that, but nobody knows how long it really takes. Just yeah. We spend maybe an hour or two just on one scene or, you know, a whole day. It, it really varies on what type of scene it is. But, uh, you know, it's it's fascinating how they put it all together and it looks so real. Because, you know, when we do reshoots sometimes, uh, it's as if one time you're filming a scene and you when you, like, have to add stuff to it, it's like a totally, like, maybe three months or so later. And, it's, and it looks like it fits in totally to the movie. It's yeah. really cool. Movie awesome. magic. Yeah. So, are you still in touch with all the other actors? Do you get to still hang out? Yes. And yes. Um, me and Zach both have PlayStation 3s, and the uh, actor awesome. played Fregley, Grayson Russell, he yeah. has a PlayStation 3, so we always play like Call of Duty together back then. <laughs> Remake of the movie. Yeah. Always yeah. on your game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of, some of them move in, I mean, some of them, because we live so far away from each other, uh, we all try to, you know, talk on the phone and stuff, but yeah, thankfully I'm in California. I, I mean, Devin Bostic, who plays Roderick, is there, yeah. and uh, Peyton List, who plays Holly Hills, is there, so I can hang out with them, but, you know, Robert, I always take him on the iPad with me, and I'm like, hey, Robert, say hi to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I live in Rhode Island. I'm, yeah. like, the opposite end of oh. the U.S., so. Oh, I was thinking about it. Was this film the easiest one to make? Because I guess the first one you had to kind of act like you'd been friends for... A long time and then this one I guess you are genuinely close now so yeah I guess if you put it that way like in that terms yeah this probably was in terms of like friendship wise the easy one because with the first one it's like hey buddy how are you doing Where it's like I just met you an hour ago you so, know what yeah I've got to say I mean when I first met you know every single one of the cast members including Robert I I felt like I somewhat had a connection with each one like I'd met them in a past life or you know when I was a baby or something but anyways uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that I wouldn't remember that, but, uh, you know, it, I guess we all really had so much in common that it was easy, as, easy for us to bond. I mean, we all enjoyed similar activities like swimming, you know, going to the movies, bowling, and it really helped, you know, towards bonding-wise throughout the film. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So, out of the three, which one was your favourite out of the first three? Ooh, um, for me, it would probably be the first one, just nostalgia-wise. Just because, of, like, that was my first experience as being, yeah. like, the lead role, like, in a big movie. So, like, for me, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I got to, I got a ton of brand new friends. That's probably the first one for me, just for the, the experience of it. Yeah. You know, uh, it's hard to say, because on each film you learn something new, and you really have different experiences. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, I just, I really had so much fun. I, man, I'm just getting all emotional. But, you know, <laughs> I really miss it. I mean, it was so much fun. I, I just, you know, it's so weird looking back, you know, some behind the scenes on the first and second films and just seeing, wow, I don't even remember that. And that's me. And, you know, I'm so glad that we're all still friends. I mean, it's, obviously it's not the same, you know, when you're in Vancouver filming these movies. But I really couldn't choose one because I just had so much fun on every single one. You know, the experiences were so unique in their own way. And it's just, it was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. The, the first one was probably best in terms of, like, the, like remembering, like, the first time I met this person, the first time I did this kind of thing. The second one is probably more fun because you know these people and you probably have more fun with them on mm-hmm. set because you've already bonded. With the third one, it's even like another version of that. It's like even more fun. Yeah. I wish I remembered it more. Like, yeah. So I could <laughs> yeah. just chew, pick and choose. Oh, so you, I'm guessing you're pretty sad right now that the franchise is finished. Yeah, I mean, we not, don't necessarily. Know, not necessarily. Yeah. Oh, really? But we're getting kind of old. So like, we don't really know at this point whether we keep going or not. What was kind of sad is that like a couple of days ago, that's the time that we usually go to Vancouver. So I was like, yeah. oh man. <laughs> yeah, like, but, uh, right around this time, like Zach said, we've every year for the past like three years, we arrived in Vancouver like right around this time. We stayed for like three months. Yeah. yeah. But Robert's with me now, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, last question. Um, what are your plans for the future? I know you're doing Frank and Weenie, right? Yes, yes. I mean, um, Frank and Weenie, which is coming out October 5th, and I was also in an um, uh, animated Tarzan movie, which actually filmed in Germany. It was the kind of animation that was like motion capture, when they put like all the dots on you, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm doing more acting. I like at, When I grow up, I definitely want to continue being in the film business maybe even directing or writing i'd like to also explore that kind of thing that sounds great yeah there's a lot of different like jobs in the film industry so it's really interesting like what you want to do i want to be like all around if you know what i mean yeah uh you know i i don't necessarily know exactly what i'm going to do but i know i want to stay in the film industry i would love to go to film school i definitely want to go to college and you know study film. i just know just i don't know why it's just one of those things that you know you want to do for the rest of your life i mean yeah. there's so much more to learn you know, about the film industry that I don't know yet or I have no idea about. And, you know, just on these films, I've learned, you know, different things. That's why each experience is so unique. I mean, on the first one, I learned, you know, different ways of acting and how to, you know, really perfect my craft. And the second movie, I learned, you know, somewhat how to direct and, you know, different, you know, styles of directing. And on the third one, I learned, you know, camera angles and different lighting techniques. And, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, there's so much that goes into, goes into the film industry, you know, to make a great film. And... I've got to say, it's all about time. I mean, if you really want a movie to turn out good, not not necessarily about time, but you know, you have to really know that you want to work hard for it to become, you know, great. And I really think that these films have, you know, all our hard work has paid off. It's they're incredible. I mean, I really I look back at them and I think, you know, I if I was a regular kid going to see these movies, I would really enjoy them. They're just something that everyone can relate to. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My brother, he's 13, and he was like, oh my God, everybody loves that movie in our school. So, That's cool. But yeah, no, thank you ever so much, guys. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thank you. Nice talking to you too. Thank Thanks. you.